Hi, welcome back to Dominion with Dean and today we're going to look at scheduling backups for our Dominion server. So firstly I want to go over to dominion.net and then just from the tutorial section on this how to backup Dominion server download the zip archive that contains the batch files that I need to schedule to run. Okay, so what I've done on my local C drive is I've created a folder called backups where I'm going to be saving all my backups to and what I want to do is inside this archive these two files dump underscore postgresql and postgresql underscore config I want to take those and just move them to my backups folder and these are the two files that we're going to be working on okay so firstly um, you'll notice this dump PostgreSQL file, we're not going to edit that at all. That's just a command file that executes with all the configuration settings that are in this PostgreSQL config file. Now this is the one that we're going to edit and we're going to input our own variables in here. Um, the first variable that you need to look at is this pgbin variable and it's set here to run uh, to look for the PostgreSQL bin folder on a machine that's uh, have a that has a 64-bit PostgreSQL ins installation. Now, if you like me, and you've installed the PostgreSQL that ships with Dominion, this is not going to be the case for you. So, what I suggest you do is just examine your program files folders. And for me over here in the 86 um, folder, I'll notice that my PostgreSQL folder is there and the bin folder there, and I can just take that path, copy it and paste that straight into the batch file over there. The next variable, the PG port number, unless you've changed the port numbers, um, you can just leave this at the default value. And then the third variable, the dump folder, this is where I'm going to be saving all my backups to, to this folder here on my C drive. So I'm going to again just take the path, copy it, and then I'm going to show you a very handy trick um, for making daily backups. You know, I want to create subfolders um, with the dates on. Um, so I just input the variable date. Oops, let me just get that right. And then I'm going to have a structure where every day it's going to create a date folder within my backups folder and put the four files in there. Um, this is just a very handy way of organizing things because after a couple of days you'll find that there are numerous files in there and it's quite difficult to track them down. Okay, uh, the next set of variables that you need to just pay attention to is if you're not working on your local machine, if you're connecting to another machine or you've changed your catalog name or anything, then you would be uh, you, you would want to edit these values as well but for me these are these default values are correct so I'm going to save the file up I'm going to close it off and now what I want to do is do a test run so what we're going to do is we're not going to execute this file that we've just edited the postgresql underscore config file we're going to execute this but dump postgresql file and when it runs you'll see there we go it's created the date folder and it's put my four backup files in there. Very good. Okay, so we know now that our file is correctly configured. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go to my computer management uh, console there, my snap in, and I am going to create a new task. Okay, so we're going to create a task. I'm going to call this Dominion Daily Backup. 8 p.m. Very good. I'm going to leave these settings. You can configure this as you um, see fit. I'm just going to work with the defaults at the moment. I'm going to set a new trigger to run on a schedule daily at 08.00.00 p.m. That's great. And then the action that we want to apply is that batch file that we've just executed. So we're going to browse through to our backups folder in the C drive which is over there and we're going to select the dump PostgreSQL file. Very good and you can add additional conditions and settings but for my purposes this will suffice and there we go. So that's uh, the, 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 the basic setup for creating a scheduled backup using the built-in Windows Task Scheduler. Thank you very much for watching.